Hey Scorpio, welcome to your November 9th to 15th reading. Uh, let's take a look what's in store for the week ahead. Ooh, okay. It's getting messy here. Okay. These cards have been cleansed. Uh, they just need a good shuffle here. Oh, oh, oh. A lot of the readings haven't had any cards flying out, so which is interesting. One flipped over, we'll pull that out. All right, Scorpio, let's see. Okay, this is going to be an interesting week. Not only that, things are going to move quickly, Scorpio. So make sure you are strapped in and ready to go. Um, opportunity, opportunity, opportunity. Oh my gosh, like the Eight of Wands uh is the first card that i pulled and then we've got the page of pentacles crossing it this to me is really really saying that you know um that there is opportunity around you and any decision you make anything you decide to pursue this week is going to move fast in a good way uh the eight of wands is a very much it's very much an action card and um it's like you've shot your arrows in the air and you've done the work and it's time to get going. It's really, really a great card. So, um, and then the page of pentacles brings news of abundance and opportunity. It's just crazy. Like this is going to be such a good week for you when it comes to business projects, money, that kind of thing. It's going to be amazing. The nine of wands, the nine of wands, the nine of wands <laughs> is crowning all this. And this card is talking about moving forward and moving forward with purpose. Um, honestly, if you have any opposition, if you have any competition anything like that it doesn't matter because you have done the work you have the skill set to overcome whatever it is so very very strong cards here um it's interesting because we see the queen of cups that has flown out of the deck and then the nine of swords I just feel like even though things are good, sometimes Scorpio, you are so hard on yourself and the Queen of Cups is telling you to be kinder to yourself. Stop beating yourself up. It's okay to be proud of what you've accomplished. It's okay to feel good about what you're doing and there's no need to stress or beat yourself up, which is what you are doing in this card here. So, um, Oh, there is, I mean, everything is looking just so good around you. You have the 10 of pentacles coming up too, which the tens always mark uh, completion. And uh, the 10 of pentacles is a super abundant card. So um, a lot of major arcana cards are coming up. So the world card is, uh, that's, kind of like a universe card I feel like you and the universe are speaking the same language which is amazing you're very in tune with what you want I feel like you've manifested a lot of what you have right now which is um which is amazing so um and I think that relationship with the universe is just going to get better and better so um, any decisions you have to make this week, which I feel like there might be some with the two of pentacles coming up, just trust your gut, trust yourself and 
you know what's best and you will figure it out. And it's just, everything's going to move smooth like butter, really. It's, it's going to be an amazing week. And the lovers comes up, which um, the lovers doesn't really have to do with love. Very rarely, depending on the card surrounding it, it can. But I feel like this is a good week to make partnerships. And this doesn't have to be long term. It could just be someone you meet. Like, for instance, I was at a market on the weekend and uh, myself and this other girl at the market, um, we were just talking and bouncing ideas off of each other. And like, that's all it, it can be. It doesn't mean you have to be in partnership long term in business or anything like that. But I feel like conversations with other people this week could really lead to some good ideas um we have the seven of cups here which okay <clears throat> again when it comes to decision making which you will have to make some decisions uh the one thing for you is sometimes you can get overwhelmed um you are in a very um, fortunate spot in that you have options you have a lot of options but then sometimes when you have a lot of options that stresses Scorpio out and then you don't know what to do so don't get overwhelmed just bite off what you can chew one chunk at a time and that's all you can do and you'll do awesome and it'll everything will work out everything will be just fine um, we have the Page of Cups here and another 10. We have the 10 of Wands. So um, again, I think <clears throat> I think this has, the Page of Cups bring, typically brings news of love, but the way I'm seeing this is that um, I see you starting conversations with people and just opening up a little bit and seeing what other people have to offer as well. I don't think that's a bad thing. I think that's great. And I think it'll be great for you. You don't have to do everything completely by yourself. Um, I feel like that's where your stress comes in. I just think like even friends, you know, you could bounce ideas off of them, that kind of thing. Just casual, casual talk, but it can bring up ideas. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, like Um one thing, okay, so super random, but just little stuff like parking tickets or taxes or anything like that. Um <clears throat> make sure you're up to date on everything, otherwise you might get a nasty little surprise so um just again make sure you are up to date on all those little things um but like victory victory like everything is going to be just fine i also feel like there might be someone in your life that um this person would be kind of impulsive um, he kind of makes you nervous because of how impulsive he is. This could be a son. This could be a work partner. Um, but I feel like this is definitely male. But um, the message here is if there is someone in your life that you feel rocks the boat a little bit, just be patient. Everything's going to be fine and you're going to be fine. So... That's just a, a nice little added message here at the end. So, um, Scorpio, I hope you enjoyed your reading. Um, I hope you have an amazing week. Judging by this, it should be great. So, um, yeah, lots of abundance. Don't doubt yourself. Everything's going to be great. And I will see you next week. Um, if you enjoyed this, please sus subscribe to my channel and I will see you next week. Bye-bye for now.